In this lesson, we will be discussing linear models. Now, a model is just a mathematical function or equation that describes the behavior or the values of a real-world relationship. So let's look at an example. Uh, in 2008, there were 137,706 students enrolled in the Wake County Public School System. In 2011, that had increased to 146,687 students. This is a real-world relationship that it might be helpful to analyze and model using mathematics. So in this case, let's just model it with a linear equation. So let's S represent the number of students, and let T represent the years since the year 2000. Can we write a linear function that models the number of students enrolled over time? So to do that, we need to look at the information that we're given and pull the data out of it. So first, we want to represent uh, the year since 2000. And we have two years, 2008 and 2011. So we could think of 2008 as eight years since the year 2000. And 2011 is 11 years since 2000. We also have, for each of these years, we have the number of students enrolled. So when we think of a function, we have to think of the dependent variable. In this case, the number of students would depend on which year you're looking at. So the number of students is dependent, and the year since 2000 would be independent. So we can write these as ordered pairs. So we have two points where the x value, or the t value, is the year since 2000. So we have year t equals 8 and t equals 11 for 2008 and 2011. And the y value for each point is the number of students enrolled in the Wake County Public School System. Now a linear equation has the form y equals mx plus b. So we need to find the slope and the y-intercept. Now we know how to find slope, which is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. In this case, we're going to have 146,687 minus 137,706 divided by 11 minus 8. We can compute that on our calculator, and we type that in there, and we'll get 2,993.6 repeating. So we get 2,993.67 if we round it to two decimals. So once we have the slope, we can find the y-intercept. And we do that by using the slope we just found and one of the points. It doesn't matter which point, either one will work. So let's just use the first one. So we know y equals our slope, so that's 2993.67x plus b. I know the y value will be 137,706 when the x value is 8. So all we need to do is subtract uh, the 2,993.67 times 8 from both sides of the equation, and we can get b. And again, we can compute this in our calculator. And we get 113,756.64 is equal to b. So my linear function, s is a function of t, is 2,993.67 times t plus 113,756.64.
and this is a linear function that will model the number of students enrolled in the Wake County Public School System t years from the year 2000.